So my name is Aftab Siddiqui. Um, I have uh, recently joined uh, an awesome team of Deploy360 and uh, hopefully I'll be climbing the mountain to be part of that picture which uh, Kevin showed in the morning. So right now I'm just uh, just uh, uh, here with you as my first uh, ION conference. So uh, let's start with the very, very interesting um, uh, topic. That's mind your manners. So um, as I was discussing with somebody in the morning, uh, Soheb in the morning uh, precisely, and it's like, oh, very interesting uh, subject line. So yes, it is, and so is the topic. So mind your manners. Manners is um, mutually agreed norms uh, for routing security. Um, and it's an initiative by the Internet Society. So let's, let's have some background um, about manners first. So what, what are the pr problems we are trying to address here? Uh, the major problem is we all, we all are aware of few of the incidents uh, in the past related to BGP. And one of the major incident was uh, YouTube outage. And uh, we know that very well because uh, we were responsible for that. And uh, we created uh, a black hole for uh, YouTube. And it triggered a lot of uh, uh, issues in, in the, in the uh, technical community. And issues in a, in a, and they were addressed in a very positive manner. It uh, gave an opportunity to, to a lot of uh, researchers and the operators to come up with new technologies. Uh, so there's a lot of work happening in ITF for secure BGP and some community efforts also popped up. So if you take an example of BGP, it's, uh, there is no inbuilt validation. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's basically on the basis of trust. Uh, and another problem is the reliable uh, source of data, which is uh, humans are updating their uh, who's record, which we discussed yesterday that we have to keep our who is up to date. So there, there are cert certain issues which we have to address. So do we have enough tools? Uh, probably yes, and probably no. It's a very uh, generic question. There are certain tools available, like we, you can do RPKI, you can follow the IRR um, database, and as I said, BGPSEC is uh, just around the corner. Um, it will be a reality pretty soon. Uh, the drafts are almost uh, in the last stages, but still, um, we haven't implemented yet. It will be soon, but not yet. So who is routing registry and peering databases? We have been following all these uh, specification for quite some time, here and there. So that's why um, some enthusiastic fo folks in the community and in ISOC decided to come up with this idea. Because what we believe it's more of a um, socioeconomic problem rather than uh, just a very, very core technical issue, which we can address through uh, collaboration. So what was decided, it's a very uh, clearly artic articulated baseline, a very beginning for a something which is very good for the community. It's uh, uh, a minimum requirement for something and a visible support from the community with the commitment to make a change. So what is that? It is mutually agreed norms for routing security. It's a framework, it's a routing manifesto. It is, it, it defines a concrete action that network operators should implement it is an understanding between operators that these are the uh, these are the options if you implement it will make routing more secure and more stable and less prone to the issues we we have faced in the past manage build visible community of security minded operators so it's not just 
me and you we have a lot of like minded security minded operators all around the world who are willing to take this initiative so the good manners the basic four points number one is filtering anti spoofing second coordination and global valid validation filtering is something which i believe almost all operators do at some level or the other they do filter their downstream neighbors their downstream prefect peers and if if this is the case everywhere then we don't have to worry about anything but it is uh, not a defect in standards in in many uh, cases so that's why we have issues so just pick start from the basic start filtering your downstream peers then the anti spoofing the very famous reverse path forwarding we have learned it in our university days tested it in our labs but somehow have never implemented it in the live environment uh because of the fear of oh what if something goes wrong well let's try it again in the lab and let's te test it in the live environment and trust me nothing will go wrong everything work fine if if there is nobody who is spoofing the ips then nothing will go wrong and the third and fourth is they are more towards the collaboration i said so it's it's more of a coordination and facilitate facilitate global operational communication and coordination between network operators so talk to the talk to your peers talk to the peers above them and then communicate what's happening even the youtube issue was resolved by calling someone not technically because uh, there were some like technical limitations so it was resolved by calling somebody and ask them to stop what they were doing same goes for any other issue if the coordination is intact if it is on a global scale then it can result in good things in global validation a facilitated validation of routing information on a global scale um that's what we have discussed yesterday as well keep your routing information up to date keep um that's what is that's uh in the, during the peering session we had a very detailed discussion about the peering db or radb if you have an as just register yourself and update the record simple as that so when this initiative was started almost 2 years ago many uh, big players joined this initiative and uh, and one of them is level 3 and they, these are some of the testimonials from them and uh, they do see some difference after adopting the framework and the big name is comcast and uh, the kpn if if and it this defines the whole routing manifesto manners is not a firewall uh that will protect your network manners is a commitment and a community manners is a mark of quality if your isp is part of the manners well you can show off i am part of the manners it is a community which think alike which think about securing the internet which think about doing good for the community as a, as itself as i said before it's not just a document it's a commitment uh, we have been reading a lot of best common or current operating procedures and the standard operating procedures we do read them but usually we say okay fine but i'll do like this it's not like that it's a commitment if you want to follow manners well it's a commitment that you will do it and uh, the member supports the principle and implements it at least one so if you're part of the manners so you'll say okay fine i'm starting from filtering it and my next step is uh, i'll do the i'll i'll make sure that there's no spoof dive is available from my network going into the internet member becomes part of the manners helping to maintain and improve the document and to promote manners objective it's a live document you can if you don't like something you can go and comment 
And if the community agrees, it will be updated. It's a community effort and run by the community members. Public launch of the initiative, 6th of November 2014, uh, almost more than two years now. And see, many big names joined the initiative. Growing list of participants, it's been growing. Um, 2014, it was around uh, 60, 15, it's around 80, and now we have around uh, 90 plus members. And as you can see, the graph is increasing. Our target is uh, in 2000s, not just in 200s. And how we can achieve that target? By developing better guidance. That's what we are doing right now. Potential training, certification programs, probably yes. We are part of uh, the Week Off Initiative, which Jan initiated, and it's, it's a global um, practice now. Everybody's just doing it, and hopefully we'll be able to do it in uh, Apricot uh, next month. So bringing new types of member, probably an IX. PKIX is a uh, reality now. Probably they can join. Creating a trusted community, that's what we are doing. Certifications. Uh, it's you can come up with an idea, share with us what certifications would benefit you or your ISP to join, or it will make you a more uh, intelligent engineer. Set, set of online training modules, some are already available in different languages thanks to uh, people in uh, Janog uh, and uh, uh, JP Nick and Maz is here who translated in Japanese as well. So if you want to translate it in Urdu or any other language, please feel free to contact and let's do it in other languages. Hands-on lab uh, to achieve manner certification. If you think that's gonna make a difference, let us know, we'll help you out. IX partnership program, that's what you're looking for. So my next target is PKIX. Let's let's uh, ask them to join it. How to sign up? It's very simple. Website is here. Just go and sign up. If you have an ASN, well, just, just sign up. Please provide as much details on how actions are implemented as possible. Uh, routing background checks, proof of HTTPS. You can get the information from there as well. Um, your answer to why do you decide to join may be displayed in the testimonial. Well, it's good to show off as well that why you want to join because you care. That's why you want to join. Because there's nothing wrong with your network right now, but you want to make sure that it is good for all the other community members. We can active manners participant. Join us to make routing more secure. Join us so that we can avoid any mishap in the future. It's for the community, by the community, so let's make it a better community. Thank you so much. Any questions? Uh, uh, it's Raza from Telinor. Actually, I want to know that manners, uh, uh, as far as this uh, presentation is concerned, it is more like uh, something like on the document side. What is the technical content behind the manners? Like you have said, uh, filtering and spoofing. Uh, at which level you are uh, thinking that this filtering and spoofing shall be conducted? Well, if, uh, okay, so the first two points I mentioned is filtering and anti-spoofing. These are purely, purely technical implementations. How you can filter it, if you go and check the uh, document, you'll find the suggestions over there that how you can do it. And uh, then, then there, are, there, there is a related activity to that. It is uh, related to the BCOPs, right? So there are certain options available which we say, uh, if you want to filter, follow this BCOP. If you want to do anti-spoofing, follow this BCOP. If there is something missing, we can ask you to come up with another BCOP and let's uh, find a better solution if there is something missing. But these are the technical way, or these are the technical options available in the document which you can implement.
And the, the third and fourth, which I mentioned, is is more of a uh, collaboration and the global validation thing, which is which is which you have to do. You have to update your records. So it's it's not just a document. It's uh, it's as its name says, it's a manifesto. It's you can do things the way it should be done. Thank you, Aftab, uh, for sharing this precious information. Uh, how can we make it uh, a real strong business case? Because uh, as a business owner, because we have this tendency, we don't actually fall for something which is actually really big or have some commercial benefits in that. So how can we actually make it a very strong business case for the people to be compelled to be a part of the member of Manners? Well, the best, the best business case here is you're securing your network and you are securing the network of your upstream, and you are securing the network of the whole ecosystem. If everything is secure, if everything is working fine, it's good for your business. So what was the impact of YouTube? You, you didn't do it, but you were impacted because somebody else's mistake. So you have to make sure that you, you are not part of that mistake in the future. It was not a deliberate attempt. It was just a fat finger. So you have to make sure that you can avoid such mistake in the future. You don't want to be part of the mess. So if you are cleaning them up, up the mess, then you are making sure that your business is running absolutely fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr.